Malanga province of the ANC is due to meet this evening to discuss the fate of the agriculture MEC there, Mandalin Sidi. Sidi is facing two charges of murder and two charges of attempted murder relating to a shooting at an ANC branch meeting which occurred in August. Yesterday, the ANC leader, President Cyril Ramaphosa, said that the MEC should step aside if he's criminally charged. We're joined now by Lindiwe Inchali Chali, the acting provincial secretary for the ANC in Mpumalanga. Ma'am, good evening to you and thank you for your time. Uh, I think the place to start might be with this. I realize that Mandel MCB is still in police custody. Has he resigned? Do you expect him to resign or step aside as a result of this? Thank you very much, uh, Stephen. Good uh, evening to yourself and your viewers at home. Let's start by saying that uh, uh, we were uh, told that uh, he will be appearing today and applying for a bill, but our understanding now is that uh, it continues tomorrow. So it means he remains in the custody of the police. I understand that. I mean, do you expect him to resign from his position as, as MEC? Do you expect him to step aside from his position? The reason that, uh, Stephen, we did not rush as the ANC to say he must resign, there is a resolution that was taken by the ANC in the 54th National uh, Conference, which has also uh, in line with our constitution says once a member has been charged, once a member has appeared or indicted before the court of law, that member should step aside. So where we are, we have tried to give an, a, a, an opportunity for the member to voluntarily step down, but uh, we've met, let me confirm, we've met as the PWC at 4.30, currently the PEC is in session, where we have taken a resolution to invoke our resolution of conference in terms of your rule 25.70 of the constitution that if you are charged as a public representative and as an office bearer you are a, a, a going to be a, a, a subjected to this process the pwc or the pec in our case because national is nc and nwc if satisfied, the member would be temporarily suspended and will be uh, asked to step uh, uh, down in terms of the, the organizational best interest, because where we are, we're talking about the ANC, the deploy of the ANC. So where, where we are, Comrade Mandlam CV has been accused in these uh, two uh, uh, serious allegations and one attempted murder and was saying now he has appeared before the court because yesterday we couldn't uh, talk about because the name was still not disclosed and uh, there were other processes that were done. And hence today we have processed the matter that uh, we are resolving as the PC of Mpumalanga that he will be stepping aside as the PEC member of the ANC and further as an elections manager because he managed our elections provincially and further in government as an MEC, he will be stepping aside, uh, stepping aside so that he, we can give him an opportunity to deal with his uh, allegations that are leveled against him because these are really serious uh, 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 allegations that are leveled against him. Then until then, uh, the matter uh, is how the ANC is dealing with. Okay, so you've confirmed to us, thank you very much indeed, you've confirmed for us tonight that he is going to be stepping aside, that either he steps aside or you will remove him. This must come as a major shock that this has happened. I mean, you have an MEC, a member of your PEC, the head of elections in the ANC, no less, charged with murder. I mean, there's no worse crime. You know, when, when there's, there's allegations leveled against whether you are a public representative, whether you are a part of our executive, or you are just an ordinary uh, member of the community, it's shocking. And we're saying everybody is innocent before the court of law until proven guilty by the court of law. So that is why we're saying we'll not take any side because here is charged with an allegation on two counts of murder, one attempted murder. And let's allow our justice, our justice system and the police to work and prove whether these allegations are true or not true. Because there are people who have been before courts and uh, those were tested before the courts of law in some cases, they will be indicted. In other cases, they will be acquitted. So where we are, we are shocked. We don't know what has happened. 
because it has happened in a statement that was seeing it said to be it has happened outside the ANC meeting where there is a food uh, outlet or something. And it's not uh, that it happened in a branch of the ANC. So those allegations, until the investigators, the courts have given enough proof, then and, and, and there is an outcome or the verdict of the court, we will be monitoring and following. Hence also we are calling as the ANC of Mpumalanga to say, we know it's shocking to all of us. He is the leader in the province. He is the, a, 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 an elections manager. And we're expecting a lot. And these allegations have shocked all of us. But let's respect the law. Let's respect these processes so that uh, the truth can be unveiled. Um, you mentioned that uh, Msevi is also the head of elections for the ANC in Mpumalanga. We are in the middle of a local election campaign. I realize from, from your point of view, the timing probably couldn't be worse. Um, is this going to have an impact on your election campaign? Someone else is going to have to take over. This is going to be very difficult. Remember, as the ANC, we work as a collective. Uh, I've, 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 I've been given the responsibility to head election as the acting provincial secretary and Steve is an election manager. So there's a team of elections that we work with. That is why also we're saying uh, we will be working as the provincial secretary's office, as the elections team, together with Comrade J.L. Matlangu, who was uh, uh, managing our operational center to continue the work. Because where we are, it's quite a bit disruptive to us because we were working very hard to win and he was a hands-on comrade, but also, we are not bringing anybody new, but the very same team that he worked with, with ourselves, and we will be pulling it in the next 18 days because we are left with nothing. That is why we are saying the same strategies, the same planning, the same team we will be pulling very hard. But we must acknowledge it has been a serious blow on our side as the ANC. Um, this is really about political contestation for positions in Mpumalanga. We saw at a regional conference a couple of months ago uh, there was violence there. Not as bad as this, but there was violence there. Um, are you worried? And I mean, it's not just in Mpumalanga. We've seen in Swane uh, a councillor being shot in KZN too. Are you worried about the possibility of more violence between different factions or different groups or different people within your movement, the ANC in Mpumalanga, as we go into the elections or over the next two months? As the ANC in Pumalanga, we, we are really worried. And uh, in one of our reports where we presented uh, our list candidate, we said in our meeting there, there was an escalation of violence and we don't condone it and we've spoken against it. And we said we need to be protected in the ANC meetings, whether as a member whether as women, as young people, to voluntarily participate and voluntarily voice our concern and debates without fear of being victimized or of being bullied. Hence, we are saying we will make sure that we work hand in hand with our structures, calling on everybody to be calm, calling on everybody to respect the laws that govern this country, and calling on members that they must respect their oath that they took when they joined the ANC to say, I joined the ANC voluntarily and I will make it a better organization. I will not participate in these divisional factional tendencies. So we're saying, can members respect that oath that they took because we have joined the ANC voluntarily and the ANC doesn't condone violence. And in terms of our own constitution, once you are violent, you must be subjected to our internal processes of disciplinary uh, processes of the ANC. So where we are as the ANC, we, we, we will be working very hard to make sure that there is calmness in the province. We don't want to see any violence erupting. Ndiwe and Charlie, Charlie, ma'am, thank you for the time. I do appreciate it. I know he's stepping out of meetings to speak to us tonight. Uh, Ndiwe and Charlie, Charlie is the acting provincial secretary for the governing African National Congress in, in Pumalanga. We are expecting more developments on that story as we go through the evening.